Hi everybody, welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I'm Dan with No Games for Old Men here with Scott. Hi Scott. Uh. We, we are playing Oh, what is that? It's your birthday, man. We are playing on your birthday. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. One. We can't sing the song because uh the copyright. There's a very strict copyright on the song Happy Birthday. You cannot Anytime it, that, that movie is, it has elapsed. Anytime that, that song finally is expired. Sung, that is no longer. Oh, it's elapsed. It has elapsed. Sing that shit. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can't carry a tune. How All about right. the How about the one year closer to death song? What, yeah. One year I, closer to death. My favorite is one that somebody at work, my old job when I had a corporate job, taught me. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey, that's, that's it. That's a good one. Done and dusted. You also heard the voice of Jeff. Jeff is back. Hi, Jeff. I'm back. Nice to see you all. Thanks for coming. Back in the house. All right. We are going to take on the first of the Bowie Electronics quest line. This is a raid in a lush canyon at noon. Visibility is excellent. Bowie Electronics wants you to destroy a series of workshops they believe are reverse engineering their products. Uh huh. Taking out the competition. Yep, this is a Sounds raid, so I'm going to... Ooh, actually, you know what? I can take all sea bills and all salvage shares and still have a damage coverage left over. Ha! Nice. Dang. Wow. All right. I just heard lush forest, and I'm. that means there's going to be a lot of trees to destroy. Yep. Oh. Yep. All right. 145 ton limit, so very light. This is an a low rep quest line. Pick the mech you want, and then we will wait for repairs. I need something with lasers to take out all these pesky trees. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stick with the hunchy because I love him. Oh, there's no... I mean, we're, we're playing for Bowie. There's no Major Tom. Aww. It's just Weber and... Huh, that's disappointing. I take the Griffin, we'll be overweight. Yeah, all right. I need a 45. I can drop down to the Panther if you want the Griffin. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take I'll take the hideous Vulcan that everyone's horrified by. I think it looks pretty. <laughs> I like its paint job. All right, Stripey. ready up. Space bar. Oh, yeah. I forgot how to play. That's fair. That's all right. I didn't forget how to make David Bowie jokes. So That's right. Yep, within Two minutes, you made a music reference. Mm -hmm. Welcome All back, right, Jeff. Thanks. Bowie Electronics have tasked us with raising a number of workshops owned by the rival Thorhez Corporation. I guess we're going left. They first. believe Thorhez orchestrated an elaborate theft of Bowie battlenecks and are reverse engineering the stolen goods at these locations. Naturally, Thorhez denies these allegations. Pew, 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 pew. Just as Bowie will deny oh, hiring us. Got an urban mech right away. Corporate sabotage on their behalf. I am within. Oh, you guys just leaving me. I see how it is. What? I, see. I mean, who's literally on the other side of this urban mech from you? Yeah, it is. Oh, boom! All right. uh, don't don't teabag that one, Jeff. I see you walking right for him. <laughs> my my son discovered what tea, teabagging is. It's all over now. <laughs> nice. Oh, an important developmental milestone. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess. Right before the frontal lobe fully develops, the tea bag knowledge. I'm gonna get this uh, bag. Oh, or not. Oh, never mind. You guys are used to working without me already. You don't need me. All right, let's talk about the minor third interval being played in the guitars right now. Very tasty. Create some tension. Do they have a tuba solo? No tuba solo. Not a fan. Oh wow. Of it. I kind of thought I could just stomp right through these yeah. when I can. You got, you got told. Oh look, I can walk over these. I'm disappointed. <laughs> hey, Scott Jets. Scott's like having a problem. Whoa. To the treasure. Loot. Treasure. It's on your right. Let's 
see it. Acquire those packages, Scott. Start calling you UPS man. This one, when I turn left and right, my cockpit sort of tilts. I've not noticed that before in Fire Max. Has that been happening the whole time? Probably. <laughs> oh! Chicken Mech just came in out of nowhere. Oh. Know what to do. Yeah, we do. Down. Above. Oh, oh, you ran right into my line of fire. <laughs> all right, mission complete. Let's bug out. Okay, oh, all right. What oh, the heck? Out of the way. What happened? He just plowed right into me for some Trump reason. Jets. Not sure what that was all about. Head for the dropship. There. What did you get? Head for the dropship? You were heading exactly the opposite direction. I, that, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. Destroy their windmills. Just cut around. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. I went all the way through their uh, drop-off zone. Ignored into the, me into the ocean. Almost. I was taking out their windmills. Well, see, last time we missed a. Oh, hey, rank seven. Respect. We're respected. Respected now. Oh, oh, good. They gave us a single heat sink. I mean, <laughs> what would he do without that? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab this locust and sell it. Don't we Look have a... at that! Look at that! His first day back after his absence, he gets top damage dealt. He got Good the job. mech kill. That's right. Welcome back, Jeff. Ooh. You were missed. We got kill three locusts. You should save it in case we get a uh, mission to sell it. Uh, didn't didn't you sell one right before we got the? Uh, yes, there was there was one to collect the a locust. Mech. So, yeah. or oh yeah, what one of them? Okay, so we're gonna turn this assassin. one in. That gives us a tier four large, or LRM five. And we also have a new upgrade: tighter missile clusters. Hmm. Okay, now. Who doesn't like a tight missile cluster. <laughs> Bowie Electronics Part 2. Especially when you... When Corporate you Liaison says, while you were busy taking on these workshops, the Bowie Electronics Security Intel Division has been able to identify a wall defended... A well, not a wall, a well defended industrial site they believe the Thar Hess operatives have been using as a staging area to equip themselves before making their theft. Though the site doesn't appear officially to be associated with Thar Hess, Bowie Security Intel agents have found major links between this location and the operatives. They believe this site to be a merely merely a clever front. Bowie Electronics would like this industrial site razed to the ground to prevent any further thefts. As before, discretion is key. Your payment this time will be funneled through multiple anonymous donations to one of our dummy charities, the Save the Branths program. Nice. Now we're committing charity fraud too. <laughs> I like it. All right. Payoff money. Our our damage was negligible, so we'll go ahead and repair here. And is there... A cantina on the way? No, there is not. So we'll just travel. Don't forget to pick up tier zero large lasers if there's any in the loot. Yeah, I, I looked, but there weren't any. I think there is a variant of the Locust that can carry a large laser, but that wasn't would be the amusing. one we picked up. You have to roll a d20 every round to see if it tips over. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like a skinny busboy carrying an entire tray full of 20-ounce water tumblers. Okay, this mission is a demolition. Lush canyon, late afternoon, visibility is good. I love a good demolition. And I can take all sea bills, all salvage. Let's do it. We've got a 160 ton limit, so you can upgrade if you want to the Griffin. Oh, okay. One or either of you. There we go. Nice. Close enough. Giving our do this. our one extra pilot a day off. Eh. Take a break. Jeff with the Hamilton. I think, cut there. I think that's second Hamilton reference for this series. <laughs> we gotta we gotta pick it up here. Oh, new track I have music. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got a bit of an 80s vibe to it. Yeah, it's gonna get metal, but for a minute there it was like the chase sequence in Magnum PI. <laughs> I once again, they've covertly arranged for us to disrupt Starhead's operations on their behalf. These people mean business, Commander. Best not disappoint them. Man, he's got his Tom's tune real tight. His tech was like Tom Snare, I don't care. <laughs> Get some heavy stakes, we're gonna, we're gonna pop some skins tonight. Pop. Skins. There's, a, there's a period in the 80s where metal drummers, their their mid tom, their kick drum, and their snare were more or less indistinguishable. Robbing the farmers. Oh, filthy farmers. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery. Oh, that tank is going pew pew at you. I'll take that. Yeah, some just did a ton of damage to me. About to do a ton of damage to their buildings. Booyah. Oh, I like her <laughs> suit. We do not respect private property. That's a good wow. Uniform. Oh, that was beautiful. Those missiles did, uh... Jesus. Alright, we got a, we got a panther. Green panther going to take the tank. Wow. What are we doing that, like, we're just... Nice job hey. on the Panther. Hey, Enforcer. Coming at me like that. What's the matter with you? Oh. Back myself up into a wall. Look. Oh. Ah. I almost hit myself with a helicopter. <laughs> You actually have to reboot your mech now. What? I had to hit P to restart my mech. Is that like the mech version of Control Alt Delete? Oh. New target, urban mech. All right, we've completed uh, the destruction. We can get out of here. We have yeah. no reason to mess with these guys. I mean, just for fun. They're bearing down on us. Are we running for evac? Yeah, we're we going for the evac. Stick around. Okay, good. Yeah, listen to those toms. They're like, what the hell with the low tom? We're just gonna put them all. Oh, I right. lost all an arm. Apparently, I made them mad. They took out an arm while I was on my way uh, to evac. That's like the uh, 
the mech person. To come back here. You're a chicken. <laughs> I could totally kick your butt if you came back here. Well, that was like f four locusts that were chasing us. So that that would have been the answer of how many five-year-olds can you beat up in a fight. <laughs> there you go. All right, we got one and a half million seabills out of that. Wait, wait, would three qualify as a swarm of locusts? Ooh, grab that arm. Was expensive. A peck of chicken necks. Just saying. Apparently, that was the pricey arm on my Mac. Oh, look at Jeff again. Mm. Top damage dealt, least damage taken. Very aggressive. Two mech kills. Very aggressive. Holy crap. That was they an expensive. A, they took what out happened? all my weapons. Oh, man. Oh. Should you spread those things out? I mean, you don't really have a oh, choice. Yeah. All right. We got our three Panther mechs. We can turn that one in. Nice. That'll oh, get yeah. us some flavor, so, flamers that we'll never use. All right. They took out the arm that had all the weapons on it. Because this thing has all its weapons on one arm. So whoever designed this mech had terrible uh, design skills. Maybe they were an amputee and they just <laughs> designed for themselves. You ever think of that? There you go. You're, you're going to be told that you should torso twist. <laughs> yes. Yes, I should. When you're being shot at. Shot at. All right, yeah. Bowie Electronics Part 3. The Bowie Electronics Board of Directors has asked me to relay how much they value the work you are doing for them and how much they are enjoying watching the extreme frustration and suffering of these Tharhes shell corps <laughs> as their lackeys give holovid press conferences on the terrible pirate activity in the area. Bowie has one more mission for you. The Security Intel Division has finally managed to track down the possible location of the stolen mechs. They're not too particularly concerned about getting them back at this point, as the Tharhes operatives have already had plenty of opportunity to extract most, if not all, of the relevant diagnostic data off the machines. They do, however, wish to send a harsh message that stealing from Bowie Electronics carries dire consequences. Your continued cooperation is appreciated. As for pay, your proceeds will be laundered through an illustrated children's book deal, <laughs> The Littlest Atlas. <laughs> We've already nice. hired an authentic hack of a kid's book illustrator. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love it. The Littlest Atlas. When people talk about late-stage capitalism these days, I think of this game, and <laughs> I, I have hope now that... How beautiful it is. publishing is still alive in 30-something. That's amazing. <laughs> Are we uh, repairing mechs? Uh, uh, you and I are. I think we need to yeah, evaluate. Probably evaluate the Griffin and see how bad that that repair uh, job's going to be. It's expensive. Is we it? Can wait until we get to a hub. Yeah. Um, We've got Max. Where is this We're next fine. job? Let's see. It is not near an industrial hub. It's the opposite direction. That's fine. We can hop over to an industrial hub fix it and then come back or you can use one of the other available mechs yeah i can just use one of the other ones the littlest atlas the littlest <laughs> atlas that's is that is beautiful. that a that's a mech type right the atlas yes yeah the atlas is the is the the assault mech that when you Jeff were piloting it you were disoriented because you were off to one side of the head oh cuz you cuz the cockpit is the eyes of the atlas ah uh, remember that yes last season One of my finest moments okay bowie electronics this is an assassination Lush Canyon at night. Visibility is good. Ooh, I can take an airstrike. I'm claiming everything. All the things. Airstrikes are always nice on... Uh, just airstrike the target. Yeah, we'll see if... If we can get eyes on him without him aggroing. Back to the Vulcan. If it ain't broke. All right. 20 tons Break. under. 
We'll see if oh. that airstrike helps. We can do it. It's not broken, break it. We can right. do it. I believe Move in us. Move fast and break things. Bowie Electronics has found the location of the operatives. Thor has hired to steal their battle mechs. While it's likely too late to reclaim what was stolen from the mechs, our employer wants punitive action taken against the thieves nonetheless. Be careful, Commander. Anyone skilled and bold enough to rob from Bowie Electronics is bound to be dangerous. Airstrike support has been granted, Commander. Approach the target area to call them in. Apparently, the thing that uh, is being broken is the spirit of Gen Z, so. They need to break their spirit. What? The world will do that <laughs> for them. Yes, well, I mean, that's what the tech, the tech companies are doing. Alright, spider it's incoming. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter what you do, AI will replace the, it anyway. There's no hope for you. Oh, oh I see the target. This is here on 2 1. Strike support is ready. Oh, wow. Damn, it's calling out. Over. Target at the first uh, location? That's unheard of. Oh. Inside minimum range. Whoa. Uh -oh. What is going on with my back? I do not want to fall off this cliff. I know None. the sound of that pedal. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and oh. we'll begin the Somebody find treasure. Procedure. I got it. Treasure! That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. That's close enough. Like, what a backseat driver. You're not even on the planet. Brilliant. She's backseat Hell driving you. <laughs> uh... 
There's actually like northern lights in the sky. Ah. Aurora Borealis. Or are you just hallucinating? The air mixture in your mech going sour. <laughs> yeah, I guess a bit of crack a window. Uh, are we going to the close target or the uh yeah, we're, we're in this, like, ring. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, the thing they do on the target, Commander. I've marked it on your tactics. Let's walk through this corn here. Oh, they even have those cypress trees on the edge of the field, just like they do in the Midwest. New target, Panther. Oh, target. Crab. to use the airstrike against moving targets. They don't... They don't stay in the target area. He's kind of hanging out down there, so... Alright, well, I'll get, get to the edge. Yeah. I'll get to the edge here and see if I can... Oh, no, I, that's the cliff that I just shot at. Yeah, I just waste Try to on the cliff, too. Oh, strike it use. No. I'm gonna drive him into that area. Coming. Gotta be coming up this uh this little opening over here. Oh, oh yeah, crap. There he is. Oh my goodness. Back up, back up, back up. Wow, that was very close. Whoa. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh no! Oh no! I fall real far. <laughs> Me fall bad far. Mech run. Bad. All right, I'm gonna circle this guy counterclockwise because that's where my shield arm is. Ran away. Oh, I frame rated. He's back.
stomp on these red pipes over here. In keeping with my performance thus far in this mission. Yeah. Okay, I want to try to. I want to use this airstrike this time. There you go. So I'm going to try to get eyes on the location before we draw aggro. Before they move. And just nuke it before we get close enough to it. It's the only way to be sure. It's a good idea. To aggro them. Alright, we'll stay back. Get, we'll stay behind you. Try to get an elevated. enough yet, yeah. No I way. like big views. Unfortunately, I think you're capable of lying. So, as my brothers, you can deny? Alpha 1-1, one, one, this is Sierra 2-1. We gotta get close enough they actually spawn in. Otherwise it won't do any good because they won't actually be there. Yeah. That's all we've got for I thought they were always there. No, I think they spawn in like the tanks and just sort of appear out of nowhere. Huh. So I don't think they exist until... Well, that's disappointing. There's a Shadow Hawk to our right. We'll see if they're damaged, then that means that... Uh... Claimed all the salvage I could, but not enough to get that crab. Of course not. They have to mock us with the with the max. Hey, look, there's lots of small lasers. If I uh, need those, tier zero. Yeah. Ooh, very disappointing. Apparently, you lost your cheap arm, yeah. Jeff. Dan lost the expensive well, I was, arm. I was yeah. trying to turn to take more damage on the other arm. As you can see, my other arm is red, so it worked? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. Ooh, you had a yellow core. Hello, mercenary. Seems there have been some unfortunate catastrophic intelligence errors made. 
Oh no, we just while murdered we, some randos. While we were examining the diagnostics of the stolen mechs and cross-referencing some of the prior security data, it seems that the operatives were merely a relatively minor criminal gang operating under the leadership of one Pete, Willie Pete Williams, who is currently being washed out of the cockpit of one of the mechs you just oh, destroyed. Oh, Pete. <laughs> Willie Pete. Not Willie Pete Williams. Oh. It seems that Williams and his gang simply wanted to steal a mech for fun and were not actually under anyone's employ, least of all Tharhes. Those, <laughs> those facilities oh, well. you leveled were similarly not affiliated with Tharhes in any way. He simply <laughs> had been employed at those locations in the recent past as a sanitary technician before he began his life of Oof. crime. Those industrial sites were, for the most part, actual legitimate businesses. With the exception Aww. of Mr. Williams' gang holdings. The Bowie Electronics Board of Directors is deeply embarrassed by this and would appreciate your continued silence on this unfortunate matter, as well as the full deletion of any and all of our correspondence regarding this operation. Though Bowie Electronics is grateful for all your help in this, they would ask you to please leave the system before any investigations start. <laughs> <laughs> but how did the littlest <laughs> atlas go in, pub in publication? That's what I really want to know. Yeah. Galaxy-wide bestseller. Yeah, we're gonna want we're gonna want one hundred percent royalties on that book. Hey, I have a question for you. Right. For in exchange for our silence. My so my I have two small laser short bursts tier ones that got destroyed, and each of them have that hexagon symbol with that backward C in it. What does that mean? That means they're part of a DLC. It's, ah. Yeah, it was a weapon introduced by the Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC. It means they were super special and you shouldn't have gotten them destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I assumed. But, it's like, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Uh, Are we going to repair here? Does it say repair hub? No. no. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're flying to a, an industrial right. hub. And we will repair there. Are we in the Industrious Hub? York! Welcome to the York Industrial Hub. You may now issue your mech repair orders. I repair my Griffin, too. Oh, I lost the AC-10 oh. first fire. No! And I don't have one to replace oh, it. No more large lasers, either. No. For, for the uh, Griffin. Or not tier oh, yeah. 2 large laser. Ooh, do I put the chem laser? Well, and let's see if I can buy. Just remember, the the chem laser needs uh, ammo. Ammo. Oh, I yeah, I'll put the crappy chem, uh, but it takes a lot less heat, so you can replace a heat sink with ammo. Oh, that's interesting trade off. Yeah. Oh, but we only have. All right, I'm gonna swap. We only have one large chem laser ammo, so if you see any more, in case I get that destroyed. <laughs> I'm I'm taking the cheap chem laser because I don't want the good one on this sticking out here on this uh, feeble arm. But if we only have one ammo, it's kind of how many shots do My you get out of back. ammo? Sixty-two rounds. My hunchy looks bad. He looks toasty. Man, I've got eight tons that I can the fill. The regular laser <laughs> does more damage. It's a refresh. A fire. Oh, it's got a higher rate of fire. Same range. Hey, I'll try the chem laser. I will say, though there are many kinds and many levels of weapons in this game, I feel like it's less frustrating upgrading and choosing weapons than it is in, like, even the Division 2 is is frustrating to try to compare the different qualities of a weapon and then you 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 level out of it so quickly really? but hmm. i think um tiny tina's wonderlands is the was the most vicious because well, you just the borderlands you get them with ones, around and you have like 20 games and it, 20 weapons and it's like uh yeah borderlands you just throw weapons away constantly like they're just useless like you're constantly just getting new stuff Yeah, I, I don't. I don't hate the Vulcan. Hmm. All right, I'm in the equipment emporium. What, what uh, kinds of things did you guys? 
one. Oh, they've got, they've got two tier zero large lasers for for only ninety thousand. Yeah, so those. I'm gonna go ahead and buy those so that we can get that cantina job sorted. Thank you. Yeah, if there's large chem laser ammo, we we have more large chem lasers and we have large chem laser ammo, so. Can't you deconstruct one of those and make ammo? Is that not a mechanic in this game? Disappointing. Yeah, you, you deconstruct them for parts and then you get uh, cloth and... Uh... <laughs> yeah. The music... <laughs> when you talk about the music on the ship is very mellow synth pop. It's like they couldn't... They can't power the amplifiers from the ship. Well, They're no, too powerful. They, they want you calm while you're in the ship, so you're not killing each other. They I have mean, the calming maybe music. metal calms me down. It gets me gets me pumped for a mission. You all, know? all the walls are that institutional green they paint insane asylums and high schools. <laughs> <laughs> and insane asylum high schools. And insane asylum high schools. I mean, is there really any difference? Okay, okay boys, we have a rifleman available for sale here in Mechs R Us. Uh, how, how much, how many tons is there, the rifleman? It is 60 tons. It has... Maybe. Don't forget to turn in the large two laser. Two ballistic slots. Ooh. Ooh. Two rifles. Two large lasers. Mommy. Two medium lasers. Mommy. And I, I don't know what size the... Oh, wait. Q. Uh, thank you to the person who taught me that trick. Although it still doesn't tell you what size the hard point is. I'll bet. I'll bet the YAML mod tells you that. I mean, it should. Whatever weapon's in it, it should have a weapon that's the right size for it. Usually, when you get it. How much is it? You'd What's the price tag? Think you'd think three point six million. Oh, which oh, we that's can not afford. bad at all. Get it, get it, yeah, pick that up. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. There's. Yes, 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 yes. There's also a Thunderbolt. 5SS, which is 65 tons. This one is currently equipped with three medium lasers, an SRM-6, a PPC, and a flamer. That's 4.8. Wow, those are both relatively cheap. Right, full man. Right, full man. They're both going to require repair oh, and refit, okay. but... I mean, we know we like the rifleman. I mean... Yay! Bought right, the rifleman. Go and uh, go nuts. Go go ahead and refit that. That'll be that'll be your new daily driver. Turn, turn in our uh, lasers there, and then we gotta oh pick up some more cantina missions. We're getting low on cantina jobs. I know. We haven't encountered a cantina. Ooh, can I put a, a tier oh, three man. medium laser on him? Uh, yeah. Oh no, it won't match then, and Scott will cry. It's true. <laughs> I'll I'll put tier. Okay. I've got, I've got. Oh no, I have two tier threes, so I'll I'll be able to match it. Even better. And not make Scott cry. Oh, here's a. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna buzz over to Smolnik. Well, actually, here are all of our. Jeff's still putting in repair orders, so. Yeah. Well, he's just working on the rifleman. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stay within oh, the okay. industrial hub. I'm gonna come over here because there's a cantina here, and there's also some rare equipment for sale. So we might be able to upgrade. It might be. I'm sorry. It's rare weapons, not rare equipment. So it won't be double heat sinks. Right, well, I'm dropping from an AC-5 burst fire to an AC-5, but I've upgraded the lasers, so that should make up for it. All right, collect a Kintaro, kill three Battlemaster mechs. Uh, we're not going to encounter Battlemasters for quite a while. Collect three Jump Jets Class 1. Again, those, those are, are, yeah, those are... Those are Jump Jets for Assault right? mechs. What the heck? And a Kintaro, that's a heavy. What? I think. What? Why does this cantina have such... Beefy jobs? Advanced jobs. That's where we're, we're supposed not... to be, yeah. apparently. That's where we're just failing. Doggone it. All right, I need, I need armor advice here. I should protect the arms and the torso 
pretty well, right? Because I got I need my weapons. Okay. I would agree. I'm with at that. half on legs. So what I I would do is take off all the weapons. This is how I do it. I take off all the weapons, max the armor, fix up the armor how I want it. And then I go in and put weapons back and then strip off armor to, like, balance out oh. so it's not quite... Oh, that's genius. Okay, I will do that. That's a great idea. I'm not going to strip the heatsink, though, because I'll forget to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will. You know I will. But, yeah, you have to get it to an even half ton. So strip everything, max armor... And then don't forget to adjust it because it will sometimes balance front and rear and that's just unnecessary. Although the way right. it comes, it literally has no rear armor whatsoever, basically. It, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's got four. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just If you get shot in the back, you die. Well, there's no back armor on the arms or Well, no, because those just legs, have armor. Just the, they don't have yeah, a front yeah. or back. But, like, I looked at the right and left torso <laughs> have four armor on the back. That's probably not... Adequate. So you probably want a little more than that. <laughs> like 20, maybe. Out of 50? 19. Yeah, like, that's fine. Like, yeah, 15. 15 to 20. Okay, so the Cantina's Jump Jets Class 1 is to collect three. There are actually three for sale here. Oh, sweet. Just take that one, then. And... They'll cost less than the reward will be. They're one hundred. They're one hundred thirty-six thousand a piece times three, and we'll get half a million in exchange. Yeah. So, so take that and finish it immediately. Yeah. And then pick up another one. It, you're basically just a a. Uh, like an Uber Eats for uh, heat sinks at that point. They're just like, yeah, can you go down to the store and pick up some uh, heat sink or jump Seriously. jets for us? All right. All right, that gives us a new upgrade, anchor turn. Slightly larger rotors increases both control and turn assistance. Don't know what that means. Okay. So, the other cantina jobs here are kill three battle masters or collect a Kintaro. I, I'll, I'll claim the collect a Kintaro just in case we happen to get one for salvage. We have right. we have encountered a couple during the season so yeah. far, so we might get lucky. But the kill three battle Around. masters, I'm not even going to go for that one because we're not going to have those for quite a while. I think I'm going to replace okay. one of my AC5s with an AC2 burst fire. I think I may come down from AC5s to AC2s because I like the extra armor idea. Yeah. Well, and the AC2s fire fast, yeah. so. All right. That solves my problem. I'm even tonnage. I got on my torso, I got 35 front, 19 back. Head is at max, center torso is uh, at max, and the legs, yeah, I'm good. We also have medium rifles, so you could actually put rifles on the rifle. Oh. We have two tier two medium rifles that are only five tons. What are those two? Three tons. They're three tons. Oh, medium rifles, you said. Medium rifles, you don't those want light rifles. Five tons, they do 12 damage. <laughs> This is six tons. They oh yeah, that's more better. -er. <laughs> I'm gonna take more better, more I'm better. I'm gonna take the rifles. Oh, it is exciting. Now I need ammo for those, right? Uh, yes, you will need ammo for those. So, but I mean, you would have needed ammo for the AC5s too. So. Oh yeah, I almost didn't put ammo on them. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, but I have two two uh, extra tons. Okay, so ammo should go in leg. Yes. And then anything extra, just throw heat sinks on. Oh, we don't have medium rifle ammo. I don't what? think so. Oh. Uh, there isn't any for sale here either. I've been oh. I've been looking for rifle ammo because we were very low on it. 
Oh, and uh, that's sadness. What Replace we... them with machine guns. Oh then. yeah, good, good call. Now I'll just put back the AC2 burst fires, and I'm in good shape. But yeah. I do need AC2 ammo, there you so. Go. Yeah, so make sure you actually put AC2, AC2 ammo. Will one do it, or do I need one and a half, or two? Uh, if you've got two of them, okay. I'd put two. So now I need to take two tons off. Do we not have AC2 we ammo? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. We have seven. We do. Okay. I guess I can... Yeah. I don't like this armor thing. How about head? Hey, do I, do I remember you saying head pilots? armor is not important or less important because if I lose my head, I'm dead anyway. What is that? How did that logic go? It's the the size of the head is small compared to the rest of the mech. Ah. So unless you are staring right down the barrel, the chances of a headshot are much lower. Let's hire a new pilot. There's a Captain Lawrence here with a 44. Affirmative, Commander. I'll be in the hangar for pre-drop And... At your service, Commander. We're going to Looking release... To a prosperous partnership. Weber, because she's only a 23. Somebody survived working with... <laughs> working for us? <laughs> it's unacceptable. <laughs> Put them in a locust. That's their retirement uh, plan. <laughs> Okay, while Jeff is continuing his work, we've got a transmission here called the Crimson Crusade. Over the past few years, reports of a fast-growing group of fanatics have been spreading, and resources are being stolen from local industrial and agricultural installations to fuel their efforts. The group calls themselves the Crimson Inclination and follows a charismatic leader that goes by the alias High Lord Franzen. Does this sound familiar to you? Yes, because we did this last season. Yeah, we got Franzen. We got publishing mm. in the last mission. Oof. It's a publishing-themed episode. The regional warlords hit Franzen? Is Jonathan that a Franzen. publishing yeah, he's house? He's a big literary novelist. Oh, Fran... Okay, Fran sorry. This is F-R-A-N-S-S-O-N. So oh. I totally did not even put Jonathan Franzen ah. together with Franzen. Oh. Con Franzen. Continue, son of Fran. Regional warlords had viewed the theft of industrial and agricultural materials by the group as nothing more than a minor nuisance. But then, three months ago, High Lord Franson and his followers mobilized in force, utilizing a significant number of previously unknown battle mech forces to secure the capital city and surrounding territory of Naja, and have been publicly attempting to declare Naja an independent system, no longer recognizing Draconis Combine rule. This is a delusion of the drag the dragon will never stand for. The DCMS has mobilized the 6th Arkob Legion in an effort to crush the Crimson Inclination and liberate Naja from these fanatics. The 6th Arkob Legion has requested mercenary support to clear the beachhead for them to land in force against the Crimson Inclination. Your contract with House Curita, should you choose to accept it, will be to secure a landing zone for the Arkob Legion, support House Curita in any manner they deem fit, destroy High Lord Franson and his Crimson Inclination. Well, the, okay. the only way to destroy Naja is to drop Dramamine from the sky. So I'd suggest we do that before we drop mechs in there. What? I prefer mech -lazine. It's not mech -lazine. Oh, dang. Scott just, wow. I've like been out-punned. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Mechlazine. Damn, that's good. Mechlazine, right. oh. yeah. Come on, it's an actual I know, drug name. I know, and it's I, that's I mean, really come on. Amazing. I, I was going to say Bonine, but then I remembered the actual chemical name is Mechlazine, and it has Mech in it. That's just. So. Quote of the episode. I'm shamed. I feel like. <laughs> it's also like $3 for gone, 100 Gone for a week, of, and uh, I don't even know um, who I am anymore. So. How many Jump Jess Class 4s do we have? Jump, jet, no class idea. four. We have 24 of them. The cantina wants six. Perfect. We'll do it. And, and done. Kill five griffin mechs or kill two cicada mechs? I feel like we never see mm. cicadas. Yeah, I see, I see a lot um, of griffins. Really? Huh. Okay, well, or trust now, actually, I guess we're seeing a lot of cicadas. I don't know. I'll trust you. I mean, whichever you we both, pick, right? we'll never we see those next jump again, jets. So it really doesn't matter. Actually, we—that's true. We can. 
Yeah, just finish that one and then claim right, both. Turning that one in, and then we'll grab this one. Because if we get a better job, we'll just dump. Yeah. Dump the one that we're not seeing very much. All right. The kill ones are easier than the collect ones because the collect ones, even if you kill them, you have to be like, oh, does it? Gonna, is it going to show up in a salvage? And are we going to be one point short of right. collecting it? Yeah. All right. Do so we I have, always take the kills. Do we have time for a scorched earth mission? Oh yeah. Yes. Let's scorch oh, yeah. the okay. earth. Okay. Final mission. I can do that before I go to work. Sulfurous morning. Excellent visibility. Oh, I love a good sulfurous morning. The only reason we're taking this is because we just happen to be in a system with jo <laughs> with jobs in it. Sulf Sulfurous uh, Morning is the name of the band that plays the Mech Warrior theme. I can go take the heavier one now, right? Oh, Rifleman still needs repairs. Oh. Oh, why is the Centurion underweight by like four Cut, tons? Because I got worked and I didn't have the stuff I wanted to refit it, so it's waiting. Oh, you didn't throw a bunch of uh, heat sinks on it? No. It doesn't really need heat sinks, does it? You have a medium arena fist. Yeah, I, I put that on there just to fill up some space. Is its armor full at least? Uh, yeah, except four points on the legs on each leg. I'll take it even under. Oh no, then. Oh, does it count for the full amount even if it's under to like? Apparently. Oh, I can I can that's stop lame. down. That is I don't lame. Have to take the rifleman. I can go back to the. Uh... No, take the rifleman. No, no, take the rifleman. You're taking that rifleman. You just spent all this time refitting take that it. that rifleman. Eee! Nearly there, commander. Approach the hidden oh. object to pick it up. Oh, right behind us. Nice. Our employer has all landed on loot. Of airstrike on this mission. Stand by for strike confirmation. Oh, they're loot yurts. The they love good loot yurts. Will destabilize the opposition's grip on this region. Something our benefactors are willing to spend a great deal of sea bills to see done. I like this terrain. The visibility is you like a good sulfur. The visibility morning. is so good that I can watch little rocks like r appear in the distance as my low graphics setting <laughs> them. Nice. Oh, jumpy jets! Uh oh, there's a tanky tank coming around that mountain. Oh, oh, boys. <laughs> Cannot kill that tank. They're yeah. balls indeed. Alpha 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. Strike support is ready and standing by. Over. Tank just appeared directly. Shuts me down. I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. How about if I just run through the buildings? There you go. Go run at the buildings. Oh, what a disappointment. Actually, yeah. What a disappointing. Start. I'm gonna go into the facility and let their errant shots do our work for exactly. us. Exactly. What am I doing? Run around outside like an idiot. Alright, guys. Let them do our work for us. Come in here and fight us. We're making progress, but still have a long way to go. Keep at 
So bummed I didn't put more uh, heat sinks on that. What an idiot! <laughs> well, we've all done that. <laughs> now you know. So, uh, question uh, for the amateur refitter here: How do I? So I know you can look at the heat that each weapon generates, and I know that heat sinks absorb a certain amount. What? What's my guideline for how I want to manage that? Okay, so you have to look at the heat that your weapon generates per shot uh -huh. it's reload time because some weapons might the, the heat might dissipate before it's even ready to be fired again so then in that sense you maybe don't need quite so many heat sinks but then you also compare that to the amount of heat that a heat sink will uh, vent All right. so you've got those three elements that you need to compare got it if you're if your weapons can fire faster than the heat will dissipate on its own, then you want to mitigate with that with heat sinks. All right. Got it. I think. Does that make any it sense? It does. It does. It's just a lot of math. <laughs> and there's some mechs that you just cannot fire all your weapons continually. I mean, you, there's at the higher levels, you get more weapons. Yeah. And you have to kind of pick your weapons. Like, okay, I'm at long range, right. so... If I get it short range, I do my alpha strike, but then I have to run away and cool down, yeah. basically. That's when chain firing helps. Yep, chain fire Maybe helps. I'll do that on this baby. But yeah, yeah, you need more heat sinks if just firing your weapons yes. overheats you. Like if just firing once overheats you, that's that's a problem. Yeah, overheating bad. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Ballistic weapons usually have really low heat, so. Okay, guys, that'll do it. Scott, you got to get to work. You got a store to open. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us here on MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Have a great one. Enemy power up detected.